Welcome back guys. Today we got something interesting for you. We got the 3030, 350 Legend, and the 300 Blackout. And these loads are all the same grain. So stay tuned. Alright, so the 3030 is up first. Deer Season XP Extreme Point 150 grain. Got the chronograph ready. Next up, we're gonna do the 300 blackout. Next up is the 16 inch AR15 300 blackout Extreme Point 150 grain. 1,040 paper plates. Alright guys, next up is the 16 inch 350 Legend AR-15 Upper. 1,040 paper plates using the Winchester Deer Season XP 150 grain extreme point. All right, let's check it out here. The 3030 outshot it at point blank. 3030 outshot the 350 Legend and the 300 Blackout at point blank and it's stuck in those paper plates right there it didn't even make it to what so that's 80 160 240 320 400 so 640 plates it didn't even make it all the way through that's crazy so we found all the bullets not to keep you guys waiting but here's the 300 blackout it didn't do the best the 350 legend which did the second best and the 3030 one these are all 150 grain deer season xp extreme points get to the next test all right 30 30 up four water jugs deer season XP extreme point 150 grain Woo! I think we captured the bullet we did yeah that is cool. There she is. All right, we're going to move on to the next calibers. All right, next up is the 16 inch 350 Legend Upper AR 15. Again, shooting the Winchester Deer Season XP 150 grain extreme point. Woo! That got me wet. Didn't capture that one. Yeah, I don't know where that one went. All right, guys, so the 300 blackout 16 inch AR 15 upper using the deer season XP 150 grain extreme point Woo! that was a good one so here's the wa here's the water jugs after getting shot with the 3030 you can see that the lead separated from the jacket still intact and here's the 300 blackout that we found pulled out of the jacket also now we didn't find the 350 legend because it didn't go all the way through uh, the fourth jug these actually went through the fourth jugs and stopped didn't make it all the way through the fourth water jugs and the 350 legend did not 3030 Winchester 150 grain 
extreme point. 50 yards water jug downrange. Nailed it. And you thought you couldn't do it. Sixteen inch upper AR fifteen three hundred blackout Winchester Deer Season XP one fifty grain extreme point fifty yards. Boom. So here is the sixteen inch upper three fifty legend Winchester XP Deer Season one fifty grain extreme point. 50 yards, water jug. Woo! And we actually captured the, the bullet in the jacket at 50 yards of the 350 Legend, but we didn't capture it at point blank range. So the first round of paper plates, the 3030 uh, over exceeded and got, uh, what was it, past 600 paper plates? 640. Yeah, 640 paper plates. The next in line was the 350 Legend, which left a huge hole. Of course, it's a bigger bullet, the 357 diameter. Uh, then the 300 Blackout, and then we shot it. Uh, water jugs captured the 300 blackout, captured the, the 3030, and they didn't. They went almost all the way through four jugs at point blank water jugs, and then they completely passed through one water jug at 50 yards, and the 350 legend did not, which is kind of crazy to think that we captured a 350 legend bullet and one water jug at 50 yards. All right, well, we just got done with the chronograph testing of each of these rifles using the 150 grain Winchester XP, 3030, 300 Blackout, and 350 Legend. And I think you guys are going to be surprised and wonder why the 300 Blackout did not make it all the way through the pit plates to even come close to the 350 Legend or the 3030. The 3030 outperformed the 300 Blackout and the 350 Legend in this test we've done today. And the reason why this video came about is because Winchester claimed that the new 350 Legend round outperforms the 300 Blackout and the 3030 at 200 yards, but it didn't outperform it at point blank. So I'm not sure if it will do it at 200 yards because we captured the 350 Legend bullet at 50 yards in a water gun, whereas the 300 Blackout and the 3030 passed through. So, all right, guys, we'll leave you at that. Again, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.